March 1, 2011 Real Estate Capital Scoreboard March, 2011 Chicago, Illinois, March 1, 2011 As spring approaches economic recovery is delicate, but more encouraging signs are surfacing within specific realty product sectors and markets demonstrating job growth. For example, many warehouse markets enjoy higher occupancies as global trade rebounds. In addition, consumers are renewing spending, helping to ease oversupply concerns in the retail sector. Of course, problems in the housing sector continue to translate to higher profits in most multifamily markets. The Middle East tensions are favorably influencing lower mortgage interest rates. During February declining treasury yields combined with compressing mortgage spreads helped interest rates stay in the 4.5% to 6% range for many types of fixed rate, longer term loans. Important trends changing the commercial property financing landscape include Economic outlook, the usual leader in economic recovery, the housing industry remains depressed. Housing starts are nearly at a standstill. Yet the economy is rebounding at a modest tempo with overall growth pegged at about 3%. Such a pace is still below historical rebounds following severe recessions. Nonetheless, the unemployment rate is expected to dip below 9%, still a favorable statistic for overall income realty markets. Also on the inflation front, increases are minimal as economic recovery moves at a slow pace, benchmarked below 2%. Low rates, in the short term, the Fed's active monetary decisions are preserving rates at historically insignificant levels. However, investors are nervous about longer-term consequences including global growth and fiscal spending. If overall mortgage rates remain in the mid-single-digit range, realty values will remain at healthier levels, otherwise higher rates will lead to more valuation pressures. Demand for quality, during the past three quarters, further consolidation occurring as commercial realty markets bask in the abundant supply of attractively priced debt capital. Although more equity is required, and readily available, universal investor demand is unabated for quality, income-producing properties. Second-tier assets continue to suffer and a wide pricing differential exists between various quality classes. Restrictive underwriting, as Wall Street revives the CMBS platform. Mortgage delinquency rates reach new highs, hovering just below 10%. New loan origination underwriting is now more restrictive due to lingering legacy issues. As a result, life companies, and other lenders void of major legacy loans, are more competitive in this funding arena. In addition, while pricing is relatively attractive, the net result across the board for newly originated loans includes more restrictive governance, mandatory collection of reserves and escrows and loan covenants. Investors demand adequate protections and want reduced risks in the event problems emerge. The Real Estate Capital Institute's Gene Peck, emphasizes, conditions are improving and optimism is in the air. New construction should selectively rebound as demand is unabated for high-quality, urban infill properties.